My very first memory is that of hitting a piano key. My small, chubby finger, the cold, smooth ivory under my skin. And then, acceleration, pure joy as I heard the immediate response to my action. The sound that appeared just because I pressed that key. I'm not gonna let it go. I won't be imprisoned. You mustn't give up. You had everything any of us ever wanted. You still do. Your talent, your marriage, your daughter. Neither of these went away. The only thing the flames changed was you. You have power over yourself. Live your life. Reclaim it. Don't let your body be your cage. I need someone to confide in. And that someone is me. Hush now, my baby. I'll tell you a tale. There was a man whose world wasn't pale. There was a woman who made the world sing. And they found love. The most beautiful thing. After some time, they had a child that brought light to their life, a lot of light. She loved her parents, her dolls, and her toys. And even Daddy wasn't mad at her noise. Then, one day, there was a fire. It took from Mommy all her desires. She didn't know what to do with her life. And then, she found a very sharp knife. how I looked. It's so dark in here. Time to let the light in. I hate this. 
but it seems simpler than playing the violin. For now. Take it away! I can't look at it! What would I do I without don't you? Don't try to bind me again! This prison would be unbearable.
I need to break free. I need someone to get... Luckily, I can take refuge in music. That's when my shackles get lighter, if only for a little while. Even the gramophone helps sometimes. I feel much better after listening to some vinyls. Also seems to think it helps. If the finger you put it on has been deformed, destroyed, does the marriage even stand a chance? We thought everything we wanted to hide would fit here. How stupid we were. Today, a lock jammed in the bedroom door. I started screaming, begging anyone to open. It was a good half hour before a maid showed up. I don't understand. I lock the door in the house all the time. But something about being in a room I couldn't leave was just unbearable.
Even my instruments have their prisons. Do you want to stay with me, little bird? It's safe here. Suffocating, but safe. Maybe you want to fly away into the unknown and learn how to breathe again. Will it be better outside? I know it now. I'm measured. My room is shrinking every day. He paints it at night, and every morning the walls are this much closer. My prison grows smaller every day. I feel like my life is falling apart. Everything I touch breaks. The painting is so bland that you have to focus to see that it's even there. Looks like the work of a person afraid to change his surroundings. Someone who's resigned and isn't willing to put himself out there. Who hates to see even his loved ones out and about and free. A man who will imprison his family just to stop them from getting better than him. Let me out! Whatever you say about this place, it had great acoustics. I could move souls. I could do anything I wanted with them, if I had them listening. This here, it was my place of power.
Today after dinner, I tried to pick up the violin, and I just couldn't grasp the bow. The problem wasn't even holding it properly. It was holding it at all and not letting go, not screaming with pain. It's like my hands are in shackles, like every finger has its own ball and chain. I can't move them properly. She couldn't play, of course, but her dreams about music were something to behold. A painting as boring as this one could be conceived only by a person who doesn't feel or understand emotion anymore. A vile, heartless man, locked in a bland, boring prison. Everything will be all right. No, I, I don't want more strangers to see me like this. But I can't do this alone. I'm not a doctor. There's my work, there's our daughter. There's too much for one person. Please, darling. We need help. But the medicine helps. It isn't that bad. My body will heal. I will heal. I. I just... I need to be with my loved ones. With you! Not with the doctors! We can't let that accident take our life from us. I'm so glad you're all doing well. Are you sure, though, that you should be planning a journey abroad already? Traveling can be exhausting, even in the best circumstances. Give yourself time to heal, please. I started practicing again. It isn't much and is frustrating, but it feels good. He keeps telling me that I should be careful. I don't think he believes I can get better. I think he likes it that I'm locked here, in this house, in my body, with him having all the control. I'm trapped in this house, in this body, in my head. <laughs> 